Hello, right, welcome. That was a nice little intro, wasn't it? Rather than hearing uh, my horrible voice right at the beginning. So that was a very, very basic patch I've created uh, with the FM synth, and I'm going to talk you through how I made that. And the main kind of purpose behind this video is to look at using the uh, envelopes and the LFOs um on the fm synthesis basic thing which is very very similar i mean obviously it's the same principle as you would use it in subtractive synthesis but uh, i'm going to show you kind of uh, the sounds that we can sort of get out of this so let's start we're just going to recreate that patch first of all so i'm going to start with an initialized synth and obviously we need to go into uh, fm mode as that's what this video is about so we're starting off uh with a simple sine wave um Oscillator 1 we're going to have on 50, oscillator 2 I'm going to bring up sort of halfway and that's going to act like a little bit of a sub which we're going to do with the modulation in a second. Uh, let's do the envelope first, so we're going to use envelope 1 which is uh, wired to the uh, amp envelope. So first thing we're going to do with the attack is if you notice when you get the basic sine wave it's a little bit clicky. Okay, so I just want to get rid of that click so I don't want it to fade in too much but we're just going to dial in a little bit of attack just to get rid of the click. So around about 10 is good. Now I want it to be, uh, I want to be able to hold my finger on the key for this one and keep the sound um, going for as long as I want. So we're going to have uh, no decay. Going to sustain up to 50 and then release is really down to taste. I've got quite a long release on this one so I'm going to take it up to sort of 40, 243. Okay, straight away just with that we're not far off the sound uh, that I, I kind of played at the beginning. Gonna put some reverb on it just to give it a bit of atmosphere. And also a little bit of delay. Okay, just to give it a little bit more movement. I'm sorry for that ear piercingly high note just there. Uh, so, we now need to do some of the, uh, the slight bit of magic with our uh, FM stuff. Uh, very, very subtle, the modulation of this one. I'm going to start with uh, mod 1. So, in terms of the transpose, that's staying at, at 0 on uh, modulator 1. And we're going to just dial it in a tiny amount. Okay, so that's at, at 0. I'm just going to turn that delay down a little bit. In fact, for the purposes of this... So it's taking that a little bit more. So that's just going to give it a little bit more brightness, dialing in this uh, small amount of modulation. Okay, so we went. You know, if we go more, it's kind of almost acting like a filter. But I'm just going to uh, keep it at that for now. Now, what I'm doing with modulator two is I've got this transposed down an octave. Now, this is actually the default setting uh, for this. If you watch my previous video, uh, actually, no, I won't talk about that. I'm going to talk about that at the end because I need to reset the sound. But for now, I've got this transposed down an octave. So if we bring up the modulation on that modulator, um, it will give us a little bit more uh, kind of subbiness to it and uh, kind of a bit more low end an octave down. So you can sort of hear that coming in again. I'm going to put that on four. And that's basically it. That's the sound for now. You know, we can go all Brian Eno now. There you go. That's um, that's music for whatever it is off of Brian Eno. <laughs> anyway, I love this. I could play with this all day. It's flipping beautiful. Okay, anyway, I'm going to stop playing and I'll uh, start talking. Uh, so, if we want to get a little bit more brightness, obviously we can just bring the modulation up a little bit. I'm going to do it with the feedback on oscillator 1. Um, so, if we just bring that up a little bit. Okay, so you can hear that. You know, it's getting a bit buzzier and brighter. Again, just a subtle amount. Okay. Um, and there we have kind of our basic sort of patch and I, I must apologize because I keep hitting the camera which would be really annoying to watch um, So what can we do with it? Let's we'll mess about with some of the settings and we'll see what happens And um, we'll uh, we'll use some of the LFOs and the other um, envelope as well The thing I found on my uh, learning journey of FM synthesis over the last week or two is it's very easy to mess up your sound very quickly and it can go from sounding something beautiful like this to sound like a 
pile of crap very very quickly if you go too harsh with stuff or you don't get stuff in harmonics and so on so there's a good chance what i do next may sound a bit crappy but we'll see what happens so what shall we do with it let's give it a little bit of movement i think first of all so i think what i'm going to do with the feedback is i'm going to patch that into lfo1 uh, so we've got that selected now so um just gotta press the lfo button and we'll go kind of halfway on that so we'll keep it sort of subtle and we're going to have a sine wave, just so it's kind of got a nice kind of slow up and down movement. And let's see what we've got. Okay, just take the feedback up a little bit more. Okay, so that's just... Okay, so I want it to be a little bit more subtle movement, so I'm just going to take the LFO down a bit. Nice kind of pulse sort of sound. Okay, um, what else can we do? Um, let's port, let's modulate, modulate to two. Let's assign that to uh, envelope two. And we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go crazy. We'll whack that up to full. And uh, uh, we'll give it kind of a longish attack. So it Kind of sawtoothy, a little bit more buzzy with that. So, what else can we do? Let's try the feedback of oscillator 2. Let's patch that into LFO2. And let's go mental with this one. Let's turn that all the way up. the volume a little bit on the too. Just okay, and there, yeah, let's see, there we have it. Um, yeah, you can just kind of get it to evolve and change over time however you want to, uh, to do it. And obviously, you know, the principles are the same, applying the envelopes and the LFOs to exactly the same as they are in uh, subtractive synthesis. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through a patch I did earlier as well, because it sounded very nicely Blade Runner-y. Um, purely because um, Blade Runner, as I understand it... Um, was set in November 2019, which is next month. So uh, where the hell are all the flying cars we were promised? But anyway, great film. Um, so let's just have a quick... Oh, that's a great sound. Okay. So yeah, very Vangelis, Blade Runner, that kind of thing. So let's just quickly go through the settings on that in case you might want to recreate the similar sort of thing. So what have we got? Oscillator 1 is at 50. Oscillator 2 is at 37. Uh, transposing, uh, actually we've got Oscillator 1 at 0. Oscillator 2 is down at minus 12. Uh, the feedback is at 20 on Oscillator 1. And I've got that patched into envelope 2. 
uh, and I've got a, a, a dialed in 50 so, so I've got the full kind of envelope effect on there and if we look at envelope 2 we've got attack at 44 decay 29 release uh, sorry sustain 16 and release at 31 the amp envelope which is envelope 1 uh, attack 10 Decay and sustain at 50 and release at 45. So that was based on the original uh, bell sound I created. FM mod 1 is at uh, 4. And that's transposed nowhere. That's at 0. FM uh, mod 2 is at 13. Transposed down an octave. And we've got FM mod 1 is um, patched into LFO 2. Again, I've dialed in 50 on that. And LFO 2 is at 21 and we have got a triangle wave on that one um and i think that's it if i remember rightly on that one destination is uh on the uh the fm, FM mod 2 is modulating the carrier which is the normal setting um so yeah feedback into envelope 2 we've done ah no i knew there's one other so the feedback on oscillator 2 is patched to lfo1 i've dialed in that to 30 and then LFO1 has got a rate of 20, sync is off on both uh, LFOs, and that one is a sine wave, and that gives us this kind of nice bleed runnery sort of sound. <laughs> okay, I mean, you can't grumble that it's, you know, the synth engine in there is is pretty good yes it's a it's basic compared to a standalone fm synth because you've only got four operators and you can only have two carriers and two modulators but you can get some pretty damn good sounds out of it um and yeah i mean this discovery of fm synthesis for me has just made this machine just even better than it already was i mean already it was amazing but if you think about it now it's a subtract it's a, there it's a subtractive synth it's an FM synth, you've got the ring mod thing, which I'm going to look at again in future videos. And that's just the synth engine. Before you think about all the drum kits you've got in there, I mean, I've now got in here um, all the classic Roland, 606, 707, 727, 808, 909, plus all the other kits in there. You've got your sampler, you've got your, uh, your, your new looping feature, obviously audio recording in, you've got the CV and gate for controlling modular, you know, I mean, the thing is just brilliant and it's not stupidly expensive i don't think for what it does you know if you bought all these bits of goods separately it would cost you a hell of a lot more than this costs um the only downside in buying it is the shipping costs and import charges do bump the price up a little bit but it is without doubt the best thing i have ever bought and it's the one thing that if everybody anybody said to me you've got to get rid of all the gear in your studio you can keep one piece of equipment it would be this so thank you um synthstrom audible and if you want to send me any free stuff um i'll keep i'll keep plugging the box for you <laughs> thanks guys any joking no i'm not actually send me free stuff it's fine i like free stuff right um so there was one last thing i was going to just talk about i realized i said something wrong in my previous video on fm synthesis if you've watched that which is the intro video and talks about operators and um the carriers and all of that let me just uh just go into a new sound because i need to uh put my error correct so what i was talking about was when we were using fm mod one and two um if i just turn up fm mod one okay it sounds like that when i turned up fm mod two i was saying it sounded deeper so i was kind of assuming it was perhaps a slight different waveform in that it's not it's because i'm stupid and the default setting for the two modulators is the transpose on fm mod one is at zero and on fm mod two it's down an octave um which kind of makes it sound an octave lower okay it doesn't always work like that with your octaves that's something that's going to come up in the next video when i look at ratios and what the effect of uh, transposing our uh, two modulators has on a sound so that's going to come up in the next video and we'll try and get all mathematical on that which i don't really understand but i will by the time i do the next video so that's it i'm going to leave this one here i hope that's given you a little bit more insight into fm synthesis uh, my plan is uh, as well once i've done the next video on ratios i will do just i'll just kind of keep re recreating some patches for you and throw some ideas at you and then you can uh, take them away and uh, do what you want with them 
so thanks for watching usual things uh please like subscribe share the videos around if you've got any questions or comments stick them in the box below again any suggestions for future videos i will try and get around to most suggestions if it's something i can do and if it's the equipment i've got um because i'm just trying to uh just keep these regular videos coming now and thanks for all the recent comments i've had loads of really nice comments recently and it is much appreciated that people do kind of uh like and appreciate what i do it makes it worthwhile because you know i do all this for free um and obviously uh eventually it'd be nice to make some money and make a living out of it and so in the meantime if you want to uh send me a donation on paypal then please feel free to do so there are links in the video description for you to do that or failing that just go and stream my music loads of times on spotify or apple music or any of those it all helps to uh, keep all of this going and uh lets me buy more new equipment to share my knowledge of with you lot or if anybody's listening from Korg or roland or um arturia or um uh, uh, uh dreadbox or anybody else that makes modular stuff send me free stuff and i will uh, review it and uh, get loads more sales for you okay thanks i'll shut up talking now thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video cheers